So here I am with my two uh, superior boxes uh, for this round. I'll do uh, one in each video. Um, let's start off with this one, I guess. Um, let's see what we got. Again, for anyone unaware, the superior boxes are Spider-Man Bruce. More expensive box, they are $250. Each um, and uh, they do have a superior show that they have, which they also give away a, a secondary. Um, so here's what it looks like inside uh, the 14 now. Here's the superior box there. So there's the Superman print, which is ironically the same one that I got um, before, and SLHLA sticker there. So if anyone's looking for a Superman print, <laughs> I have an extra one. But uh, like I said, once again, I'll show that. Um, this is the same one I got, so I'll probably end up uh, throwing this on the old eBay or something. Um, so no slabs in this one, but I do know that just because you don't get a slab doesn't mean you don't get a grand prize. There are some really good um, prizes that are non-slabbed, and um, I know in this box there's even a Hulk 181. Um, not slabbed. Um, so. so that would be pretty amazing to get. <laughs> I did not have in that one. I do not know. We'll see what, what happens here. Here are the books. this is right order or not um, but here is what we'll do all right so first up is uh, uh, Shang-Chi that's that uh, Venom variant uh, um, very cool cover there um, did almost buy this one I did not um, so that's definitely one that I would like to hang on to especially with uh, the movie coming out and that's a super cool cover next up is the X-Men. Um, so I do have this one. Uh, once again, uh, I don't know. I may or may not. Um, I'll have to check to see which number that is. If that's the X of Swords, I may hang on to it or I may end up putting that on the auction block too. Well, next up is uh, it's a cool uh, uh, Strange Academy cover. I don't think I've seen that one. Um, I'm not sure what issue number that is, but uh, probably hang on to that one too that's pretty that's a pretty cool cover there um <coughs> next up is uh <coughs> a batman cover joker uh catwoman and punchline there um, i'm not sure which one that is i'll have to look it up a little later to find the actual issue number um that's a pretty cool cover Next up is that uh, <coughs> the Batman, which I actually, ironically enough, um, just got that one. Uh, Batman who last number four in uh, in another Spider-Man booth box. So one of those will probably be going up to the auction block. Uh, next up is my signed one. So that's that Boss Logic uh, issue, and I actually got. That issue uh, signed in one of my last boxes as well, so I'll probably end up uh, throwing that one on the auction block. Um, 
as well. I just I don't really need um, duplicates of of things. So there's a cool null color cover with uh, uh, venom for a venom issue. Uh, probably hang out to this one. Um, that, that is a pretty cool one, one that I do not have yet, so. Next up is that Venom. Uh, not, not sure what issues of Venom these are. Uh, I'll try to post those in the, I'll try to post the issue numbers in the co comments as well. Um, this is one that I, a lot of people seem to like a lot. It's kind of got the, the green ichor. I don't know if you can see that or not, kind of on his face. Um, I wasn't as impressed by this one as some of the other covers, um, so I'll have to think about whether or not I want to hang on to this one. So there's the um, Null vs. Wraith cover. I wonder if that's a, a Web of Wraith um, issue, um, but that's a pretty cool one. There's uh, Galactus, that's probably one of those Thor ones that's more than likely uh, the issue with uh, Thor, and there's Black Winter there too. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but that's uh, where they may or may not destroy uh, a Black Winter, or at least they uh, drive him off. And finally, last but not least, is the, uh, the Juggernaut one um, with Thor there. So no big, no big grabs in this thing. Just some solid study comics. I did get this one in a SLHLA uh, box already as well. So that one will be um, up for the auction block. Um, so I was a little less impressed by this box than some of my other boxes, but. Um, that's what you get. I'm not sure about what, if I got my value or not back out of it, probably close. Um, but, uh, I got a lot of duplicates and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm, uh, a little bit disappointed. Um, I mean, uh, some things that I, I do uh, appreciate getting duplicates on, but usually that's, um, usually the variant covers, uh, um, a little bit less, you know, especially uh, the ones that I wouldn't necessarily uh, pick for myself. So, um, all right, here we go with uh, box number two. Let's uh, see what's in this guy. Um, as I said, uh, you know, I was looking over my first box, and I, you know, it's not uh, horrible or anything. It was, it was a solid box. It was just a little um, disappointing, mostly because I got. Uh, a lot of things that I already have and um, you know I kind of hope to get kind of hoping to get some new stuff I guess um, and obviously a grand price but <laughs> we'll see hopefully uh, hopefully I'll get some uh, different stuff out of this one and uh, we'll go from there so uh, same kind of opening here superior box um, This light jelly sticker there on top this time. There is the box. The box. Um, that right here for now. And uh, here's print for this one. This is limited print. Alright, so that's a uh, nice uh, Joker print there. Um, uh, limited to uh, 77 out of 100, so, uh, so far already a little bit happier, um, once again, I'm, that's a pretty cool print, and, uh, not something that I already have, which, uh, uh, and it's limited, so, you know, it's just like a kind of generic print, so I'm pretty happy with that, um, that's the first, the first box. Uh, I'm already a little happier with the second box. Um, let's see what is in store from here. This uh, box does seem just a bit bigger. Maybe that's just my imagination. Oh, and so I do have a slab in this one. So uh, that's always a good sign. Um, 
I will try not to look at anything. And we can look at things together. Try to flip that slab over so I will not um, see anything there. We will open things like this. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is the tricky bag. go first issue uh all right so yeah uh the colossus variant um this is this is definitely one of the excellent swords ones um this is one that i uh was thinking about buying so um pretty happy with that as the first as the first comic um that one is definitely one that i will add to my keep pile uh next up uh gambit um uh, cover there. This might be a Mrs. and Mrs. X uh, cover with Rogue. Um, uh, also, a uh, pretty cool cover. Uh, yeah, definitely another another one that I'll plan on keeping. Uh, I don't know what issue that is of Mrs. and Mrs. X. Uh, there are a couple that are more expensive of that series, but I'll have to check and see if that's that's probably number one if I had to guess. Um, there's a Miss uh, Miss Marvel. Um, I'll have to check to see if I have this one. I might, but uh, it's another great cover. I'm already liking this box a little bit better than the last one. Um, yeah, just... Uh, so here's that uh, black and white with the, the color splash of Joker. Um, this one I do believe I have from my last um, boxes of Batman 100. Uh, if I do have a copy of this, I will... I'll probably sell it. If I don't, I'll probably hang on to it. Um, I do have a number of the Batman 100s now, so I'll probably end up um, getting rid of some of those. So, all right, here we go. Here's that. Uh, so I definitely have this one. This one I specifically bought. Um, so I'm pretty sure this one I will end up selling just because I think I bought at least uh, two copies of that one. All right, so Hulk 187. Uh, this has a couple tears in it, so not in super great shape, but um, kind of nice to see a an old Hulk in there, um, even though it's not, even though the condition's a little rough. Here's that, uh, here's a Venom with uh, Dylan there, and Venom swinging through the uh, through the sky. That's it version of this. I think that might have been a regular cover. Um, that's a pretty pretty cool cover. Uh, here's the version of that third print. Uh, it's like second or third print of the other Venom one with the, the Venom T-Rex. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's another cool one. <clears throat> so I just opened a little while ago the uh, the color splash version of this one here is the all black and white. Um, pretty cool. Uh, these uh, Tyler Kirkham covers are um, Venom are super awesome. So um, yeah, I might keep both of those. I might sell one of them. Um, probably whichever one I end up thinking is is the cooler of the two. And then I got this. Uh, here's the signed uh, one. Um, this is Hunter Killer with a uh, Mark Silvestri, um, uh, CFA in the back, um, so that's pretty neat to have his signature now, uh, to add to my collection, I do not have his signature, um, so that's, that's a neat one to have, once again, it's not on, like, a uh, super huge comic of his, but, um, <clears throat> still, that's, that's pretty good, and so the final thing is, all right, the Venom 26 black and white um, version of Street Level Hero. Um, so the first distributed appearance of Virus uh, is a 9.8. Um, but yeah, so I'm um, pretty pretty happy with that. Um, that black and white is is pretty cool. I probably would have preferred the 
the green version, the one that says um, something about it being uh, delayed because of COVID. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I do like that cover a lot. Um, so yeah, so I would say the second box uh, uh, was much better than the first one, in, in my opinion, um, and I'm a lot happier with it. So um, yeah. Uh, so once again, these are that Spider-Man booth, um, superior boxes, they cost $250. Their newest one, the Grinch, uh, has, pre-sales have started. Um, Black Friday will be when they become available to the general public. If you have their app, I believe you can purchase them on the app currently. Also, if, um... You're interested for these superior boxes they do have their superior plus show um on a monday on the same uh is on one of the mondays i'm not sure what day it is but if you do have them it's worth checking out that show uh they do give away some solid uh comics on on that show if you do happen to be able to to win one of their grand prizes then as always they have the the monday mania that follows that so if you buy any um, comics that, or any, uh, yeah, comics that, uh, Monday, you can be entered for that extra drawing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, have a great day.